There's a lot of news going around about COVID-19. Sometimes it's hard to tell fact from fiction. Let's tackle a few common myths. Myth 1. COVID-19 isn't a big deal for young people. Actually, people of all ages can be affected by COVID-19. Even wizards? Even wizards, Harry Dotter. In fact, the Center for Disease Control reports that of all COVID-19 cases, 35% are in people 49 and under. And one in five people hospitalized for severe COVID-19 were between the ages of 20 and 44. But perhaps the greater danger is that young people may spread the virus to those most vulnerable to COVID-19, people with other health problems and the elderly. So let's look out for each other by staying home and stopping the spread. Myth 2. COVID-19 doesn't spread in very hot or very cold weather. Based on current data, coronavirus can spread in all types of climates. Sorry, Dots. Myth 3. Home remedies protect against COVID-19. Despite what you may have seen on social media, teas, mouth rinses, essential oils, and other home remedies do not work against COVID-19, and cleaning products like bleach should never be swallowed or injected. Myth 4. There is currently a cure for COVID-19. In short, not yet. Some people have looked to antibiotics for treatment. While antibiotics work great for bacterial infections, they don't work for viruses, like coronavirus. Using antibiotics for viruses is a bit like cleaning your house with a pickle. It doesn't work. You may have also heard of hydroxychloroquine, remdesivir, and other medications being used for COVID-19. While certain drugs may have some benefit, it's unlikely that we'll find a cure quickly. What we need is more research. Research that clearly shows what is safe and effective against COVID-19. Unfortunately, news stories have sparked big demand for hydroxychloroquine, taking this drug away from people who need it for other conditions. So what can we do? We can arm ourselves with information from trusted sources like the World Health Organization, Center for Disease Control, and your local health authority. Together, we can spread accurate information and not infection.